what's up YouTube um, low and tech here this video is basically how to uh, enable root on your device using a one touch root this is very simple I'm actually doing a remake of the video that I already made reason being because I had a lot of questions and I just want to answer all these questions just very small questions that I have that, that a lot of people have alright so let's get into it also if you guys like this locker um, you know Go ahead and watch that video. I have a video on the locker. It's really nice. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But anyway, let's get into this. So open up your browser, whatever browser you feel comfortable using. And I'm going to send you this link to the ex-developers um, link. And where you can actually download it. So, you know, after you click on the link, it's gonna go, you're going to come to this page where you can directly download the latest version, which is very important. You're downloading the latest version of King Root. So it's going to be the latest version because they're going to keep updating it until eventually they stop updating it. So I'm going to directly download this. Press OK. Um, I already have it, so I'm going to replace it. And you're actually downloading two applications. You're downloading um, the root and it also Purify, which comes with uh, King Root. As you guys will see in a few, so actually you can see it's two downloads happening. You know, this is something else. Well, anyways, you have two. You have this download, which is King Root. I'm gonna click on that, and this will download King Root as well as Purify. So read through, install. Let's give it a second. Remember you're downloading, you're installing two applications. You can open it. I'm going to just press done so I can show you guys. Um, so here it is. Actually it's just one application. But usually it, it would actually put both of them. So let's wait, let's wait on it. So we have King Root. We have the root. Just keep going through this. And Purify system, this, we, this is actually where you install the Purify. Uh, let's press try it. Uh, once you try it, King Root is going to start to search your device. And here, when people get into issues, so let's, let's just wait for it just to finish checking. I'm actually going to turn my Wi Fi on. I turned it off because I don't want it to be auto updating. So, yeah, it's turned to just seeing that it found my um, device. Now, look what it says root access is unavailable. People said, okay, my root, I, I can't root my device, but you can still root your device even though it's saying root access is unavailable. So it says my, it's not available for my Samsung Galaxy S3. S, um, um, let's go ahead and check the root checker. Root checker. Just to show you guys that I'm not rooted. I think I just went through this process already. So uh, my Samsung here, verify root. And I'm not rooted. So let's go back. Just go back. And although I'm not rooted, I'm still going to be able to root my device. So let's give it a moment to check again. Make sure you have Wi Fi enabled because otherwise it's going to go really slow unless you have very fast 4G and you want to use your data. So it's going to take a while, so I'm going to just put it down. And I'm going to start root. Now starting root, you're gonna give it a moment. It's actually going pretty fast, I guess. Yeah, just give it a moment to root. You know, just keep monitoring your device, make sure that it's still always running. If it freezes up, you know, let it let it be. And a lot, of, with a lot of these new one touch roots, your device have to actually restart in order for it to be enabled. They won't just click on it and it, root, it roots. You have to restart. So let's give it a second. Also, guys, if you have any questions, just um, comment down below. Let me know the question. I'll try my best to get to all of you guys. Although I'm, I mostly comment back on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, around those times. But I will comment. I will reply back. Um, try to reply back most of the time. But those times, I'll reply back a little faster. So it's, um, let's wait for this to install.
If this doesn't work for you guys, I always recommend to use the desktop version. Although the desktop version is a little, a little weird. Basically, with desktop version, if you go to the website and try to download it, a lot of um, browsers see it as malware, and it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to download it. You can still download it on your own at your own risk, but I actually don't trust it to download it. If you're going to download it using a desktop version, it's better. You're better off using. Um, Kingo rather than King Root. So I guess it's kind of froze at 54%. We're going to wait. You guys might run into other similar issues where it goes to a certain percentage and it freezes. Just be patient and allow it to do its thing. Also, guys, in the description, if you're able to root your device, go ahead and just comment down what device you're running. And then, so let everybody know if you're able to root. If you're not able to root, go ahead and comment down what device you're running as well. I will try to help you guys out if you could, if you can, so we need to know like what devices can and cannot run. I'll have a few devices in the description that I know for a fact can be rooted. If your device is listed, then you can definitely root your device. If it's not working, try a few more times and see what happens. It won't always root the first time around, so you have to give it a have to give it a minute. So look, mine looks like it's actually kind of stuck at 54%, so I'm going to wait it out until it gets to a higher percentage. Okay, so basically, um, my device just rebooted. There it is. It actually rebooted at about 54%. It wasn't at 100%. So let's see actually what that means. Let's give it a second. Next thing that should happen is your device should automatically go right back into um, King Root. So give it a second. My device is actually doesn't, it kind of slow when it restarts. So I need more than a second. So I'm going to wait for this thing to automatically open up back in King Root. If it doesn't open back up in King Root, then just do it manually. Okay, so here we are. And now it went to 63% after rebooting. And now it's gradually going right back up. Now, if you guys, after rooting, decide that you don't want to root anymore, remember you can always unroot your device in King Root. And I actually have a video. I'll have that video down below just in case you guys want to. I kind of I did a few times where I kind of didn't feel like rooting anymore. Okay, so here we are, successfully rooted. And this comes up. So go ahead. You can disable it. It's just my, um, it's just an application in my Android device. That is kind of, it will kind of compete with this application. So it's actually you to sort of deny it. So it's going to sort of deny it. But yeah, now my device is rooted. I'll just try to show you guys that by going into the settings. I mean, root checker. And now I'm going to check to see if my device is rooted. And it says if you want to allow it to. So say yeah, allow. And you can see that your device is, is rooted. Now the next step will be to install Super SEU. You know, you can go to the Play Store and download these things. But basically you shouldn't have any issues.
from here. If you have any issues, additional issues, so let me know down below because I'm sure you guys will have like really specific issues. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. Um, your device will root. I mean, will reboot a few times. It could reboot more than once, so be aware of that. Or it couldn't reboot at all. But um, every every case is very different. So if you have any issues, let me know down below. Um, subscribe and um, make sure you check out some of my other videos down below everything will be in the description so read it ag again read it over make sure you follow all the steps correctly and see you guys around